So a question that came up was, will the recent move by Oracle to make Java pay for play, meaning now, well, not now, and starting in, I guess, January 2019, I believe it was, if you want to deploy professional Java apps, you're going to have to pay Oracle a licensing fee. The licensing fee is based on CPU processor. I believe I saw prices something like 1500 bucks a year for one uh, core or something like that. I think 5000 for a few cores. So before you guys go crazy, oh my God, that's so expensive. Well, for individuals, it's expensive. For small startups, it's expensive. But for large corporations, which is the vast majority of Java's market, it's really not such a huge price. So how does this impact the future of Java jobs? The reality is I don't think there's going to be too much of an impact at all because uh, Java jobs are all, not all, but the vast majority of Java jobs are in large corporations. So I don't see that as being an issue. The only thing, and I haven't seen any information on this, the only thing that I'm wondering about is how this might impact Android development. Android, if you don't know, is written in uh, Java, Android apps. So if you're going to have to, I don't know if you're going to have to pay Oracle some sort of licensing fee for Java apps written for Android. That could be an issue. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I'm not sure how that affects Kotlin, because I believe Kotlin, you write Kotlin, I think it compiles down to Java, or maybe it compiles down but to bytecode. I don't know. So this, these are interesting questions that have to be answered. Um, I think in the immediate future, if you are into Java, you're likely more or less interested in the enterprise development. So I don't think it's going to affect those type of jobs because people who have invested millions and millions, if not tens of millions, in, into Java-based solutions for their companies, these are larger corp companies, they're not going to switch off because they're going to pay five, ten grand or 15 grand a year to Oracle. That's not going to happen. In terms of uh, small companies and startups, I don't think too many were using Java to begin with, maybe except with the exception of writing Android apps. So I don't think, you know, in terms of uh, Java for web, etc., I don't think it's going to have any impact in that regard. And um, there you have it. I used to love writing Java code, but I stopped writing Java because I found it to be too slow in terms of write time and too verbose. So yes, Java ran much more efficiently at runtime than Python, Ruby, especially Ruby. Uh, PHP and JavaScript, it's super fast at runtime, meaning when it's running on the server, compared to those languages, but it was just too long to write Java code because it's just a verbose language. Verbose meaning very long-winded. Everything has to be explicitly declared in Java yeah, rather than where if you got a more, you have dynamic languages, easier to write languages like Python, PHP, Ruby, JavaScript, you can get a lot more done simply with those languages with a lot less code. So I have been telling people for years, if you're starting up a new business, you are looking to build a SaaS or you're looking to write any type of software, Java would typically be my last choice, amongst my last choices, not because Java in itself is a bad language, actually a great language, it's just that you can get you can get the job done much more quickly and easily with nimble, nimbler solutions like the PHP and the Python and Ruby and so on. So there you go, yes, Oracle is now going to be charging to use Java in a commercial environment. I believe it starts January 2019. So just around the corner from now, I'm recording this in December, December 15, 2018. And uh, there you go. That's the way it goes, you know. So if you're learning Java now, that's cool. Don't worry about it. There'll still be lots of jobs in Java for years and years and years and years and years to come. There's no question about that. There's just too much investment in Java. But again, most of the Java jobs are going to be in larger organizations. The one question mark in this whole thing for me is how this impacts Android development. I don't know how this impacts Android development. It may not impact Android whatsoever because I checked out and the licensing I saw for Java was based on server CPUs, so it's not, uh, it's not a smartphone. That said, the licensing for Java 
is not simple and straightforward. They even have an app, if I recall, uh, and Oracle does to help you determine what you should, what you need to pay for your Java. It's it's crazy. It's that that complex, but uh, that's nothing unusual in the enterprise landscape. That's for sure. So uh, yeah, that's it. Carve log using a different type of setup here. We'll see how people react to it. Ciao.